StarCast 5, presented by CarShield, July 29th to 31st in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Fairgrounds. Loaded with stage shows including Renee Paquette's Sessions with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, Soraya, Turning the Page, The Horsemen reunite on stage for one last ride, and Bret Hart's look back at 30 years later on his SummerSlam Classic. And of course, StarCast will be capped off by Ric Flair's Last Match. Follow the story leading up to the last match over at RicFlair'sLastMatch.com. Tickets and information available at StarCast.com. Shivani interviews FTR. This was not wacky. God damn, what a fucking promo. <laughs> Nothing wacky about this at all. Jesus. I mean, Cash was good, too, but then Dax just goes, and, and part of it is that he you know, had a real story to tell here. Um, but So it's FTR Briscoes 2 on Saturday. They're in two out of three falls. And Cash says, the first Briscoes match was our biggest match ever until Saturday. We respect you guys, but you're not taking these belts away from us. And then it's Dax's turn to go, and... It's one of those things where Dax has been cutting some version of this promo in his head for the past three years and uh, got it out and hit a home run with it. So he tells a story about once upon a time, there was a little girl, a five-year-old girl, not feeling well, took her to the doctor. She had an irregular heartbeat, and he scanned her and found a hole in her heart. The doctor said, if she works very, very hard at this, this will heal She'd be able to avoid open heart surgery, which we don't want to do on a little girl. Fast forward three years. The girl is now eight years old. She has worked very hard. The hole is completely closed. Her heart is healed. And yes, if you had not guessed, Dax is talking about his own daughter. He says if she'll fight that hard for something that's not promised to her, daddy's going to do the same thing and bring home a legacy she can be proud of. That was a key line there. Not, 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 not that he wants her to be proud of him, not the other way around. So Briscoe's, he warns, I'm going to fight like an eight-year-old girl, and I'm going to beat your ass. This was the fucking greatest thing I've seen in I don't even know how long. Yeah. You know what's funny is, uh, remember when they had that, that story about how uh, WWE was interested in FTR? Fucking, I howled when I read that fucking story. <laughs> because let's think, about, let's think about FTR. They are super fucking over right now. They're as over as they've ever been in their entire careers. And not just because they've won a bunch of belts. Their Steve Austin, Bret Hart, WrestleMania moment was that week when they faced the Briscoes and they had that fucking awesome match. And then four days later, they faced the Young Bucks yes. on Dynamite. Yeah. And they had that fucking awesome match. And all of a sudden, they were over. They went from guys who would use the top guys in their promos line, top guys out, and they weren't top guys, to all of a sudden, the fucking top guys are out they when are. they finish these promos. So now, on top of that, this Dax comes out here. He cuts this promo, and it's like, dude, wherever they were before, now they're even further. Dude, this fucking promo and this story and this guy, mm -hmm. this personality, I was like, and now, now... A week after this promo, they're going to go two out of three falls with the Briscoes. And they're worried fucking shitless because they have to top their last match. And they probably will. At worst, it'll probably be as good as the last match. And, dude, when this is all said and done, like, their their careers are set for the rest of their lives. Mm. And WWE is going to offer them so much money, and hopefully Tony Khan offers them a lot of money. I don't think they ever go back to WWE, but you know you have to play the game. Yeah. But it is so funny that WWE story because how did these guys get over to where they are right now by doing everything that WWE wouldn't let them do? Yeah. And won't let them do. Right. They got over by having great fucking tag team matches. And they got over by cutting great fucking unscripted promos from the heart. The two from, fucking things they won't let them do. From the heart is the key. Is how they got over. They're just. And now they're interested in them. They're just being themselves and telling the truth. Fuck me. What are you going to do if you sign them? Not let them wrestle anymore? Hand them a fucking script that some dork writes? Fuck me. You're interested in the f in fucking FTR. I was fear. I was I was half laughing and half furious at the fucking gall. Jesus Christ. Who are you gonna want next? Moxley? 
who goes in there and he's allowed to be John Moxley and he's allowed to wrestle like John Moxley and talk like Don John Moxley. Instead, you made him fucking Dean Ambrose and handed him these shitty scripts. Remember you want him asked? next? Yeah. What are you gonna do with him when you get him? The same shit you did before? Fuck! Sangha versus Lee stands on Lee's chest when she's down. Bangs her, uh, her on the apron. Pull, um. Puts elbow on her chin. Threw her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, yeah. Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend versus woman. Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. A out. little guy? It's now wrong. Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. No. no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.